Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm an occupational therapist. Today, our question comes from a student and he asks, what is hypotonia? Now, hypotonia is a state of low muscle tone. Now, this is the amount of tension or resistance to movement in a muscle. This often involves reduced muscle strength. Hypotonia is thought to be associated with the disruption of afferent input from strength receptors and or a lack of the cerebellum's facilitatory effort influence on the fusimotor system. This, this is the system that innervates intrafusal muscle fibers thereby controlling muscle spindle sensitivity. Now hypotonia is not a specific medical disorder but a potential manifestation of many different diseases and disorders that affect motor nerve control by the brain or muscle strength. Now that was a lot. What does all of that mean? A child is said to have low muscle tone or hypotonia if his muscles are on the loose, floppy side. Since hypotonia is most often diagnosed during infancy, it is also known as floppy infant syndrome or infantile hypotonia. Infants who suffer from hypotonia are often described as feeling and appearing as though they are rag dolls, easily slipping through one's hands when you pick him or her up. Also, you may find it unusually easy to move a hypotonic child's arms and legs when they are relaxed. Now here's an example. Mary is an eight-year-old girl. She can often be found sitting at her desk in what her teacher described as a sluggish posture. She's seen with her shoulders rounded and either leaning, on, leaning forward on the side of or slouched down in the seat. When the teacher asks her to sit up straight, she does. However, after a moment or two, she is back at her sluggish posture. Now later on in the day she goes to PE. In physical education class today, the activity is the tire roll. In this activity, the students have to roll the tire to a designated finish line. Mary hates this game. Moreover, she dislikes activities that require her to do any physical or strength requiring task. Now after encouraging her to participate, the physical education instructor note that she has poor reflexes, she appears weak, and appears to have very low endurance. Now all of the aforementioned characteristics stem from her hypotonicity. Now there's multiple symptoms that may indicate a problem. Motor skills may be delayed, there could be hypermobile or hypoflexible joints, drooling or speech difficulties, poor reflexes, decreased strength, decreased activity tolerance, rounded shoulders, the individual may lean on others for support, and poor attention and motivation. Now the extent and occurrence of specific symptoms depends upon the age of the patient, the severity of hypertonia, the specific muscles affected, and sometimes the underlying cause. Now if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send emails or leave your comments here, or you can download the Ask the OT app for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Windows mobile phones and devices at www.askdrcovington.com and submit your question directly through the app. Now, as always, take care and we'll be seeing you next time.